So, hello everyone, welcome back. Um, today's video is going to be around environmental toxins. So, I'm going to be talking about things that are harmful to your body, both outside of the house and inside of the house. And this might be a, a slightly long video, but um, I feel it will be useful and informative so that you can know the things around you in your environment that can be detrimental to your health. So first I'm going to start with some things that these environmental toxins might cause. So there's research that shows that it can impact on your mental health. So for example, um, any disease or disorder that's linked to mental health. So uh, Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's spectrum diseases, the um, Parkinson's spectrum diseases, schizophrenia, uh, something like depression or mood alterations, bipolar um, disease, um, any any disorder linked to the brain, because the brain is extremely sensitive to toxins, um, especially heavy metal toxicity. So if your brain is subject to um, heavy metal toxicity, it can be uh, influenced and something like uh, hyperactivity spectrum diseases, autism spectrum diseases, those are all linked to brain activity and those can be some of the issues that come from this uh, toxicity, especially from the environment. Then also fertility issues with both male and female. Um, then also cell disruption, cell mutation, DNA mutation, uh, changes in your, your DNA and your cell structure and how the cell works. And this can also lead to cancers when your cells have been mutated into a cancer cell that cancer cell will replicate and become more and then the cancer will grow and grow and grow so you do not want your dna to mutate or to change from what it's originally supposed to be same with your cells you don't want the cell function or the cell structure to be disrupted because that will change the cells functionality maybe take away the function and that will also change it or mutate it and that can cause um, disease in the end. Then also your kidneys and your liver are extremely sensitive to toxins um, because they help to detoxify your body. Then also the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system can become clogged and they can start storing the toxins in your fat cells. So this is also extremely harmful because then when you are losing weight you are releasing these toxins into your body. Um, and then you can really have some uh, difficulty in your health when these toxins are being released. So that's why um, people who have excess weight um, also need to be extremely careful when they are losing weight because there are lots of things that are stored in the fat that's going to be released into your body. Then um, these toxins can also cause circadian rhythm dysregulation. Your circadian rhythm is extremely important because that's your daily rhythm. That is the rhythm that we were created with, the sun and the moon, the stars, the earth's rotation, the seasons. Um, that is how our body works. That's how we were created. Uh, we were created to sleep at night and be awake in the day. So that's your circadian rhythm. When the sun sets, you'll naturally start to feel more tired. In the daytime, you're awake because you have the stimulation from the sun and from the UV rays and you're getting vitamin D that will energize you and it will give you the melanin, melatonin um, that will help at night to then put you to sleep. So the circadian rhythm is extremely important. So then that comes into the first toxin, light, light toxicity. Uh, we don't just go according to the sun and the moon anymore, but we also have our artificial lights and this can cause a light toxicity. It can cause your brain to go into a dysregulation, your hormones as well, because your hormones are also working together with light and dark um, times of day when they need to be secreted, things that we put into our bodies, how the cells function, those all uh, work on, on your, your hormone balance. So when your hormone balance is not quite right, you will have some problems. So, uh, there's light toxicity. So I'm quickly going to talk just about outer stimulation, outer toxins. Um, then I'll come to things that are more inside of your house. 
So outside, light toxicity, um, sound toxicity, sound stimulation from, from outside can also be harmful to our bodies, um, especially at night when we're supposed to be sleeping. Then something like air pollution. Air pollution is also a toxin that will impact our bodies, that will go to your lungs and then around your body, especially then into your liver as well. If it enters your bloodstream, your liver will have to, to get rid of it, but it's more affecting your lungs directly, air pollution. Uh, then water pollution is also going to come into your bodies. Um, that can be a problem because it contains something like a dioxin, fungals, molds, heavy metal poisonings. If pesticides have entered the water, they can also disrupt your, your system, cause toxic toxicity to your liver and your kidneys. So that's water, water pollution. So there are different kinds of pollution from outside that can impact our bodies. Now, coming a little bit closer to home, um, there are things in your house that are extremely toxic to your body and you are putting that in uh, on a daily basis, either through your skin, through contact, or through inhaling, or orally into what you are taking in. So it's important to know what you touch, what you smell, and what you are eating. So the first one that I'll talk about is volatile organ organic compounds. There are more than 400 different kinds. They are found in um, things like paints, your carpets, furniture, shampoos, cosmetics, um, varnishes. So volatile organic compounds cause organic damage in your body. So um, I've talked about reactive oxygen species previously in, in other videos. So reactive oxygen species are also part of this volatile or organic compounds which come into your body and they are extremely inflammatory and they need to be uh, eliminated. So your antioxidants will bind to them and then excrete them out of your body. But if there are too many of them, then your body cannot do that. And there's research that shows that you are ingesting up to five or 10 kilograms of pesticides in a year. You are also consuming uh, five kilograms of harmful toxins each year through everything that we are putting on and into our bodies. So then pesticides, you should know about as well. Pesticides come into the water, into the food, into um, highly processed products. You, you'll even find them in things like your toothpaste, your cleaning products. So pesticides are not um, good for your body. They are harmful. Pesticides are there to kill. So they kill cells, they disrupt cell structure. So they are not good to get into your body. So something that has been heavily sprayed with pesticide or even the pesticide has been put into the seed that will be harmful to your body. So GMOs, where pesticides have been put into the seed, is introducing those pesticides into your body. The pesticide is a toxin. That's so not healthy, it's not good for your body. Then fungal toxins and molds, so th those come in your walls, your, um, your furniture, your uh, roofing. It can also be present in your cupboards, in your clothes, in your um, carpets and furniture. So these are also extremely harmful. Not all kinds of mold and funguses are harmful, but there are many that are harmful, especially if they grow on synthetic surfaces. Then there are also dioxins, which you find in papers and chlorine, oil, coal, things that are being burnt, um, phthalates and PVC plastics, um, we know about some of the harmful effects of plastics, especially for children, if you find that they have plastic toys. Um, we personally have moved away from plastic toys. We try to get just wood, because wood has more of a texture, it has more of a temperature as well. Um, toys or plastics will always be cold, they'll always be shiny, and they'll have the same kind of touch. Plastics are not beneficial to your body. You'll also find these in um, cosmetics and mattresses. Plastics are harmful to our bodies. It's not something that you should readily use. Try to reduce your use of plastic as much as possible. Um, substitute with something else, uh, a box, 
cardboard, um, paper bags, uh, reusable bags, anything other than plastic, wood um, for toys or and try not to get the plastic coated wood. Uh, <laughs> those will also introduce harmful chemicals into your body and cause your hormones to not be regulated cause a dysregulation in your, your hormones. Then you also get PBDEs, polybrominated diphenyl esters. These are also flame retardants which are in everything um, because the companies have to make sure that they cannot be sued if something catches fire. So everything you buy from a shop will have some kind of a flame retardant layer sprayed on it. Uh, cupboards, bedding, uh, bookcases, your televisions, your fridge, your, your mattress, your furniture, everything has, will have a flame retardant layer sprayed on it or something that will coat it to try and not make it catch fire. <laughs> so these are harmful, so just try to limit your exposure to them. Um, look on the labels, see what kind of flame retardants they use, if they use some. Um, just check, check the labels, look at it, and try to eliminate as many of these toxins as you can. Then heavy metals, uh, lead, mercury, aluminium, arsenic, cadmium. So you get these in antiperspirants, in your dental amalgams, things they put into your, your cavities. Pesticides also have these. Treated woods have some of these in water, has been polluted by with these paint. So these heavy metals will really impact your body and some of them cannot be eliminated once they're inside your body. Especially aluminium can cross the blood brain barrier and it will build up in your brain and that's almost impossible to eliminate if it has already reached toxic, toxic levels. So be really careful, especially with heavy metals. So when you are consuming animal products, heavy metals concentrate um, up the food chain so there will be low levels in plants, really low heavy metal levels in plants. But when something eats that plant, they will concentrate it in their tissue. Then if something eats that, that animal, it will concentrate up the food chain. So if you, this is especially relevant with fish. So small fish will be eaten by bigger fish, by bigger, by bigger, by bigger fish. So something like a tuna, which is preying on all the smaller fish, has an extremely high um, heavy metal poisoning or heavy metal concentration in its muscle and meat so when you are eating that you are consuming extremely high levels of heavy metals so just be careful with with your animal products because they concentrate um, heavy metals and you can get heavy metal poisoning from it without even knowing you'll have the symptoms and the signs but usually um, it cannot be picked up unless they do a specific blood test for it so those are all the different kinds of toxins. Um, you also get them in your cleaning products, the products you put on your body, cosmetics, your cleaning products, your hair, uh, what you wash your hair with, your shampoos, your soaps, um, your toothpaste, your toothbrushes, your antiperspirants, like I've mentioned, especially heavy metals in your antiperspirants your soaps, um, your nail products, your cosmetics, your beauty products, your creams, your makeups, those all contain um, environmental toxins. So try to use organic or natural products. I'll put up another video this week about alternatives. I'm going to talk about alternatives to cleaning products, cosmetics, things you use in your house, that you can have a natural alternative that does not contain these environmental toxins. Um, when you are buying a product that comes from a company or from a, a manufacturing plant, they will usually include some form of poisoning. Um, you can also get an app. Uh, I cannot remember the name of the app. Uh, if I do, I'll write it in the description below or as a comment. There's an app where you can check the toxicity and the products that are inside the thing that you are using. So for example, the antiperspirant you are using, you can go check and see what's in the label and what every ingredient is and how toxic it is for you. 
So it's extremely important these days to check your products, looks, look, what ins what, look what's inside of them, <clears throat> so that you can eliminate some of these environmental toxins, take away some of these stresses of your body so that you can be healthier, happier, you can have optimal brain function, and you can just live a better and a healthier life. Because a lot of these toxins, what they first start to do, they take away your energy, they take away your happiness, um, they take away your clarity of mind, um, it takes away your ability to think clearly. So it's extremely important to eliminate these toxins so that you can have a clear head, you can think, you can be happy, you can have your hormones working like they should so that you get your serotonin um, coming and flooding into your brain so that you feel happy so that these mental diseases and issues do not become a problem. So um, I've talked a lot about toxins and a lot of things that you use in your house have them, but it's quite easy to eliminate. Um, there are very natural, very good and very readily available products that you can have um, that will be beneficial to your health. So if you like the video, please click the like button, comment, subscribe and share this uh, to everyone and with everyone that you know. Uh, if you'd like the studies, I can also send you the studies that I use for my research. So always stay healthy and to God be the glory.